It's just awful enough to be endearing. So look, they just this is not what I had planned. That's all I can tell you. You guys have listened to the show for a long time. <laughs> Rarely is sadness my deal with the Lions. Normally anger. I, I was heartbreaking yesterday. Because that was two and one. A real pathway to be four and one. You didn't know it at the time, but Mac Jones' ankle exploded. So you're looking at Seattle and New England down their starting quarterback. Can you imagine the vibe in this town? Four and one at the bye. Start thinking about when J Mo returns, get Swift healthy. It's all there. And now, once again, here we are, Rico and I, up on the pole, some bad little John playing. We got we got we got glitter all over ourselves, and we're just dancing at the coaching malpractice bistro. We're up in the cabaret, Kenny Cott to the main stage. <laughs> and you're doing the same show you've done for years with the Lions. A coach making coaching mistakes at the worst possible time as the team collapses and goes from ultimate respect to ultimate dejection. I don't want to do this show. It don't make me happy doing this. This sucks. This sucks. It doesn't, Mike, but what you found out is... There's no way around it. You're, I, I, just aside from the coaching mistakes, it's just the defense. That's going to be a problem. So when you see all of these games saying, oh, you're going to win this game, you're going to win this game, I don't know if – I mean, now looking at that Jacksonville game, it doesn't look on. the same anymore. May, may, I, may I make a comment without my partner in crime here making fun of me? If the defense is such a, an abomination, how was it 24-14 in the fourth quarter? Not yelling at you. I'm yelling am I, am at the I allowed situation. To I'm speak? yelling at the situation. You can do whatever you like. Because the defense couldn't keep them from – it was a shutout. And then all of a sudden, it's tied at the half. And then you have a 10-point lead, and you can't keep them out the end zone. You call a timeout, and then they score with K.J. Osborne wide open. But but It wasn't a heroic catch. It wasn't – he didn't go Odell and do a one-handed behind the back type of thing. He was old. The only thing that could have helped you was he was too far open and he would have just dropped it. But to be fair, the defense did do their job in the drive before the game winning touchdown. They stopped Minnesota. Right. The offense then came out and did nothing. And David, I will simply say, now do it again. That's not asking but, too but much. That, but that's why you punt the ball. Right. You let them go. You drive the field. The, right. Make them beat you, make them go all the way down the field. Their kicker was struggling. I would have taken that. It would have been a no-brainer. If we're not going to do this, make their kicker try to do this kick, not ours. Because he was just as bad. No, you didn't. So, there you have it. Alex. Is this my life? Is this, this, this is what you do to me, Alex? This is how we're starting the 3 o'clock. What is this guy just listening to Pink Floyd taking bong rips? What is this? We'll check back in. Let's try Alex one more time. <laughs> nope. Okay, then. We're moving on. <laughs> let's, let's leave Alex up. Let's see how long this goes. The people want to talk. <laughs> you, want, you want to know what this show feels like to me? This is every Monday of my entire career in Detroit. Make this, up some words to it. Uh, this, man. Oh, here you go. Alex is hitting the keys. All right, Alex, I've had enough. <laughs> Hey, is this what's plugged into Scotty Hazelton's headset? <laughs> oh, We've lost him. It feels good to laugh. <laughs> We've lost him. Laughing when you're hurting so much is such a good, <laughs> it's a liberating feeling. Mm. Shane's in Traverse City. Let's see what the soundtrack of his life is. Hello, Shane. Sorry, I'm not on hold with a credit card company for you, Mike. Listen to some new uh, uh, outstanding hold music there. That was that was that was pretty oh, good. Oh God, welcome, uh, Shane. What's up? <laughs> hey guys. So, all right, I listened to you know obviously his presser there, the one yesterday, but I listened to another one that kind of got me a little ticked off here. I listened to Jared Goff, 
And he said, you know, boy, if I could have just gotten Coach's ear a little bit there, I probably could have convinced him to go for it. Well, then you know what, dude? Be a leader. Do that. You see, like, I I saw one of those mic'd ups with, like, Andy Reid and Mahomes or something like that, and and, and the coach asked him, do you want to go for it? Yeah, yeah. Of course he's going to want to go for it, man. Trust your players, dude. That guy needs to step up. But Jared Goff has to step up. You're making $30 million a year. You're the quarterback. You have a play in mind. That's what I'm saying, Mike. That's exactly what I'm saying is in that situation, call your best four- to five-yard play and go win the game, man. Be a leader. Take it out of, you know, caveman's hands there. I couldn't and, believe and Goff just, said it. Do it. I couldn't believe I Goff said that in the post game. And I don't know if I we know. have that audio, but, Shane, it's it's a great job by you. And when I, when I saw that, I went, wait. So you're acknowledging publicly – you didn't do all you could, even though you know you have the pull to get a play run versus versus go for the field goal. That's a that's horrible. That is horrible. Go above him and just do it, man. Go be the. You know, I would have had so much earned respect for him if we would have found out that that would have been his call. And right, he's got he a problem asking so to what? go for it on fourth down, but him and his agent won't have a problem asking his franchise for two hundred million dollars. Right. You watch, that's going to happen, or, or try to. No, you're right, Shane. It would have been more impressive if golf is just on the field like, no, we're not leaving. <laughs> we're not Aaron leaving. Rogers, we're going to do this. Tom, go and do that. Mahomes, any of those guys. Those guys are leaders and winners. And you know what? In that situation, if he's if he's demonstrative, and we're seeing that on TV, right. and then after the game, he goes, look, I wanted to go for it, but I respect Coach's decision. I still respect golf. Yeah. I still look at yeah. it and go, hey, all right, at least this guy had the right idea. Yep. Yep, exactly. He's kind of sitting back like, ah, whatever, you know. We go for it, we go for it, we kick, we kick, we see what happens. And that's not leadership, man. So do you think this is Caldwell 2.0, Shane? Um, it's kind of sounding like that a little bit. I, You know, I love Caldwell as, as like the coaches or the players did. Same thing with Campo. He's got a different attitude, but it's just this doofusness about this stuff. I mean, in, in situations that it's just it's mind-boggling to me. Is Campbell forgetting that we have Jack Fox? I mean, doesn't this guy kind of pin people inside the five-yard line all the time? What does that say about his defense? And no confidence in him? I don't know. There was two times in that game he should have punted the ball. The one time turned into a touchdown. Okay, he rolled the dice and got it. But, man, you can't play. What are you talking about? Before like the half, midfield, coach. short field for Minnesota? Was that what you're uh, – Not that one. There was the one before that where I think that St. Brown ripped off a big one. They scored on that. But I was thinking, gosh, guys, it's so early punt. It's the same thing like that onside kick in game one. That was horrible. It's too early for this. They're not 0-10. Last year was cute. It was fun. We have nothing to – Dude, we're on side, do all that. We're three stuff. weeks into the season, and he's done questionable things in two of the games. I just, I can't, I can't, can't roll beyond questionable, Mike. I'm just, I'm, I'm worried that we're gonna finally maybe get close and and be on the verge of something of a wild card or something, and then it comes down to, well, I better call a timeout right here, right now. Let's let them rest and yeah, we'll and Sean, there. Sean, the best part, you've already circled one game on the schedule that you gave away, right here. Right here. And and very few teams in football are good enough to give one or two games away. You right. gave this away. We had uh you wanna play it now? We we do have that Jared Goff sound. Oh yeah, that's uplifting. Let's let's do it. Why didn't you? Why didn't you go over there and demand it? You're part of this, too. It's not just on Dan Campbell. Show some effing leadership. I'm tired of this with every quarterback we have. I'm sick of this. It's only week three. Damn it. I love how he throws in the line, and I guarantee he would have done it. And you're proud we saying have, that? And we all have our regrets in some shape, form, shape, or fashion. Tuck, please. We'll get to you tomorrow. I mean, it's easy. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. I think that's even more frustrating. You knew it was the wrong decision, and you chose to say As nothing. the highest-paid member of this organization, there's nobody in the Lions organization who makes money, more money than you. Yeah. No one. The guy probably makes three or four X what Dan Campbell makes. You're one of the, and he didn't go over and go, no, let's go. You're one of the leaders on the team. You're right. If This, this isn't the backup punter. You're one of the leaders. Hey, we're not leaving the field. This is a mistake. 
we're going to stay out here. And you know what? Dan would have probably been like, you know what? If you feel that strong, call the play. Man. Do what you got to do. But to say afterwards, yeah, you know, I probably should have said something. And I guarantee he would have listened to me. Thanks. That's the football equivalent of I have a great story, but I can't tell you. What? (laughs) 